I'm about to route the saddle slot on this bridge on this LG2 guitar that I've been working on from 1942. Had a lot of extensive repair work and now I'm actually going to do the routing and my goal is to route between the dark saddle slot right down the center. In a previous trade secrets we found out where to cut the slot using the intonator. Dialing in it exactly where we wanted it and I marked it and today I'm going to route it. It's pretty risky to route and a piece of hard rosewood like that on a delicate guitar. With a Dremel tool or a small router, you can jump and hog and get crooked lines, but I was really happy when we came up with the saddle slotting jig, which makes the job very accurate and easy. So here's how you set this up. That's the main part I call at the table. I've got it spring clamped through the sound hole, two spool clamps at this end upside down so there's nothing to catch my elbows and I've shimmed up that end of the table with a piece of cardboard just to level this. As far as the bit I'm going to use, it's a carbide downcut bit, smaller than the slot I want to end up with because as I said, I want to creep up to the front wall and into the back wall, widen that slot and have a really clean slot so that the saddle goes in with a squeak. It's a press fit. I'm setting my stops now. At this end, if I want to stop there, I slide this forward and that's your stop. That, the router can't go any farther than that. There's two ways I'd approach this. One is to route straight through and get the depth a little bit at a time. The other is to do a plunge cut. It's like a hinge. And you walk across and punch a series of holes. That lowers the bit down in and it can often lessen the chance of wobbling. I think I'll give that the, my first try. I'll do a couple of plunge cuts. I'm going to get my earmuffs. This is my second pass. I'm going a little bit deeper. You can see the holes that I plunged and now I'm connected. It's like connect the dots. That's the full depth. Now I have two cleanup passes. Six thousandths to the front and six to the rear. I loosen the fence and move it forward. There's six thousandths. That moved me forward six thousandths. You'll be hearing a small, easy cut. I'll be running that front wall and it'll look real nice when I'm done. <laughs> Now I'm going six thousandths the other way. I'm going to take a silver pencil here and mark down the center of the old saddle slot because I can still see it. And so it's a real different slant and it's much closer to the front. That's why this saddle had started to split. This guitar must have played way out of tune back in the 1942. That was, that was wartime, remember? And a lot of the, the main workforce was fighting the war, so the people that were building guitars during those days, a lot of them were new. And I was thinking about throwing the bridge away, but I thought, nah, it's original, and I saved it. There was a bone saddle blank, one of the long ones, shaped it on the belt sander. Then I put it in the nut and saddle vise to do the fine filing on it. But I want to make sure everything's right and string it up before I finish anything. That's a tight fit. Ooh, you hear that? It just popped right in. That's what I want. I don't want to split the bridge, but I want a snug fit. I'm going to string it up. Whoa, it's a ringer. And it's dead in tune. I got that saddle right where I wanted it. It just rings. You could hit a chord with this, close the case, wake up in the morning, open it, and it would still be ringing, I'll bet.